Valtereshkaji, Hearts of Iron 4. Recap, I'm playing Hearts of Iron 4 as a supporting role for the Allies. Moment still building up my industry. And started researching some basic submarines, which I'm going to refer to as Holland boats in this for reasons. Well, I need to provide a reference to a to an Irish man who was the father of the modern submarine. I called John Holland from around this counter, which was somewhere around here. I'm based somewhere around here. That's figured to be a nice reference. Oh uh, yes. Flexible Navy, because we want these cost reductions for convoy interdiction, wolf packs, etc. No. Well, Nationalist Spain, just to go over the rest of them. I guess the... Ah, yep, the anarchists aren't doing much better than you were. Spies are getting back up to speed after my last operation. What they're going to do is, I'm just going to steal as many industrial blueprints as I can get away with. On the production front, we've got plenty of um, rifles. Transport planes are taking the line. Once I get to 150, I'll probably switch this over to tactical bombers once I get those. It's probably going to pay off, so I'll get that now. Maybe it's not considering um, tactical, tactical bombers is they're flexible. And, and I'm going to be fighting defensively. I might need a lot, a lot of um, range around, around Ireland for naval strikes and stuff like that. They probably would do that, but they would also be able to do uh, ground attacks here, ground attacks maybe into Europe once that once that kicks off. But again, that's a that's a bit away. I'll probably go with tactical bombers this time around. I usually go with fighters. Uh, area. I might just rush this now because the early submarine holes are useless. This, on the other hand, is good enough. It's only three months. Her basic torpedo. I will get the improved launcher. And I'll probably go for magnetic detonation. Then that. And the electric torpedo. If it weren't obvious from the title, this whole thing is going to be all subs and supplies and spies. Oh, that's it. with the medium air company because. I want my bombers to be reliable. Do not want them falling out of the sky if you so much as look at them. Coming up, and... That means these... Well, these are going to be... obsolete. It's not like I'd be using them for much other than, say, my runs anyway.
spears of vision. These do I go with? Breakthroughs? Expressive Barrage seems to be more for attacking, which might be as for attacking or late on. Aggressive Recon. If you want to know what the other side's up to, go over there and ask them directly. Hmm, Static Warfare. Static Defense is we we'd be getting next, so I might actually want that. Plus, it also means we get some extra entrenchment and entrenchment speed, which we don't really have because I didn't go with the static warp. I'm probably overthinking everything, aren't I? That's not too useful to me. Mass charges, I don't use. Static fire, static warfare with artillery everywhere. French, right. have a new factory coming soon for trucks, and more for civilian trains. Great. Anyway, then anti air. Oh, look at that. I've bypassed a focus. Inconceivable. Yeah, I know. Yes, I think I will. I'll put two of these up because the fuel will be hand will be handy, even if I have to import oil later. But the rubber, that's what I'm re that's what I really need. Advisor, I get will be double tied for that last extra stability. That's not too useful to me. Don't want that. That guy, fuck off. This guy, eh, might be handy, but much. He's just probably a little bad. Let's go into aviation effort now, get some extra air XP, and then now what I'm going to do is start, re start researching the interwar bomber. These costs anyway. So they cost even less, they cost less than the um, transport planes. So, might actually save a bit of resources on that. More mills coming. Ooh. I'm gonna get rid of this training division 
But in order to do that, I need to create an empty one for for garrisons. Am I gonna call division? Yeah, I know. It's the police. Lions. And because they're a garrison, we do not care if they have the absolute best. Just wasted five army XP. Boo. Lions. Okay. I think I'll pass. I'm not way up. So I should have enough um, naval XP at B to have this ready. Point being is that now my submarines are going to be better. It doesn't cost me too much at the moment. Could go with this, but Mr. Hyde, for duty calls you. Country calls you. Field hospitals. There was a bit of a joke in earlier versions that the only thing this got you was a smug sense of moral superiority. However, now what it does is each infantry battalion gains 10% extra health. So that makes them even beefier. It also means you gain back, back um like XP and casualty, uh, casualties aren't going to be such a big problem. For a small country, this isn't the worst thing. Of course, that does lead into require interceptors. Fighter basing, support. A lot of these are actually fighter really odd. Hmm. As usual, I never know what to go with. Yeah, it's probably this. I do need to get fighters as well now I think about it. The Focus trees for airplanes are a bit weird. Not much I can really do about that. Ooh, dive bombing. So, Cass is... I've just gone and wasted the wasted things, haven't I? I think effective training programs would be handy. Not yet. Hmm. That's how I got some better infantry equipment. Detonator. Or the submarines. And this is gonna be the Holland class. I'll put a link to it. Need to like page about the about the guy who got this John Philip Holland guy. There'll probably be a photo of him coming up on screen at some point. Yeah. 
They're cheap. I'm going to do A's. What they're going to do is, tra is travel in pairs, cover each other. Probably makes them more effective. What? More effective in attacking will be able to cover as much ground as I can. This is ready. This. Shame that the status on DLCs aren't allowed to be used online or in, in recordings. So it's awesome. Oh well. Isn't much use to me because I'm not really going to be doing tanks. Another batch of maps made obsolete. So, this is going to start going down soon. Which is why I'm going to save as much of my political power to guess. I'm going to change my economy and mobilization laws as I need them. Do I want signal company? Why not? Going with the war austerity train because they'll be cheaper to produce. We're not producing much yet, so it's not going to be that much lost. Those ready to go. I'll save that for now. Like I said, once this has got to 150, because you do need 100 to provide transport to anything. Or air supply. That also give me a, give me fifty in reserve for covert operations repairs, and now we've got anti-air coming. Nice. Terms of putting. I'm gonna go with motorized because, while well, they're not as good in. Hills and mountains as say... Oh, they're about, about the same in hill and mountain. Forests. Doesn't make too much difference. It does provide me some extra... However, it does provide me some extra... Breakthrough, extra defense. Breakthrough in this case means... Being able to shrug off damage while you're being attacked. Or while you're on the attack. And I also want to get a field hospital. Does lower the um. If I hover over things, you can see, engineering company buffs a. It buffs leg infantry. Motorized recon or any recon that buffs the artillery. Field hospital that buffs, buffs any kind of infantry, giving them ten percent extra health. Let me just remove this for a moment. Currently at one hundred and fifty-four. 171. That's how we can take a lot. Basically, we can take a lot more damage. Well, fast, but we can take more damage. And when we lose, and we lose people, that means we lose less XP. That's gonna pay, pay back. Let me think about it. 
I am going to set up a motorized division. Now what these guys are going to do is be the counterattackers, going to push back everything. Anyone who lands, right? Mobile combat support, motorized artillery, artillery, artillery. Don't have much armor or breakthrough, but we can, we can live with that. Engineers, motorized recon, field hospital. Wait for port anti air. Yeah, we're we're getting kind of low on manpower now because. Guys have obviously filled back up with all this. Air Force Command. Continuous Strike. Heroes Veteran Air Instructors. I have no idea what air power projection factor is. Centralized Control. Hmm. I'm more inclined to go with this because I think in real life it would be the most useful. We may as well use up some of the some of this by increasing our conscription. Equipment effort. This is probably gonna go straight into that once it's ready. Let me get this so I can get more factories later. Now, because I don't have back by blood, I don't have the designer for, for aircraft, but I think I can live without that. That's not actually all that good, but I know. Start building up these uh, radar sites, so we can spot anybody trying to sneak up on us from the south. Huh. We have our first ship, Eli Macha. Commander, Arkin. You need to do something about this steel. Just stole something from him. No, probably not. I'm going to get this now before the thing before the focus lands because. That's already 86 days. That's 171. This is twice. This is about half the time already. Things are hauling up in the continent. This music. Ah, big air force. <clears throat> Actually, I'm going to go with um, fleet logistics because more range means. It means better options to strike from. Probably didn't explain that very well. Oh, 
It's a typo there. That should be May. Let me see if I can... Probably have to try, have to try the, um, not the game for that. I just can't be bombing. What to go with? Well, this is gonna be quick. I may as well do that. I'm not gonna replace the subs I already have, but it does give me better engines, and I could probably do that later. I'm not going to bother with the um, 1944 hull because this just requires steel. This requires more steel and chromium, which is hard to come by. Yeah, this is 93 rather than 171, was it? We lose 10 days of production. So what? We weren't... We only had 5 anyway. Might put another factory for us. for some equipment. Trucks. We're gonna need... We're gonna need a lot more factories for those. One there. checking how long I've been running for. I'm doing 25 minutes. We're going to split these into 30 minute slots just to avoid overloading myself. These are a bit more expensive, but they're definitely worth doing. Right, Maka and Maeve will be will be paired up with each other. I have no idea what the Irish translation would be, but... That's actually the correct spelling of Maeve. The BH is pronounced V. Yeah, the first person who wrote this language down must have been severely dyslexic. Ooh, here we go. Right. Might go uh, go and get this Liberty Ethos. It's not going to be very useful to me, but the interventionism, that would give me some extra political power, which I probably do need. Right, this might be the last time I get to do this, because after this I may be making resistance contacts. World tension is not high enough for that. But it will be. This is maniacal moustache man does his maniacal moustache man things. Wait, he is already.
might get that. Historically, with the 40s submarine hulls, I've gone with the um, radar for extra spotting. But snorkel meat would make them far less visible. I'm not in any immediate hurry for now. Support weapons. I want to give these guys anti-air. So. Because it doesn't cost me much. And it'll provide some it'll it'll keep the skies clear. And some extra armor piercing for if tanks get ashore. I say if. I'm gonna get this um, excavation one and two because it means I'll. It means I will need less to import less steel. It's always a good thing. But I will also get this because production efficiency. We need that. Just hold off on getting this now, because if I do join the ally, or when I do, I'm going to want to go to this immediately. It's not perfect, but it'll be good enough. There's a surprise. Yeah, the Netherlands didn't stand a chance. Luxembourg to fall. There are a few people who have done them, who have done challenge playthroughs as Luxembourg, trying to take over the world. There's a bit of a meme about how it's the single most lethal country. There's one playthrough I've seen where somebody held, basically held it for pretty much until 1947, before the Germans finally gave up and nuked it. And they were literally just this one place in the middle of, of, of Europe that the Germans hadn't conquered. And that's... But fun. They put these... Let's put the mill factories up next. We're going to need to push them up. Then I think Munster Radar and Munster might be a better shout. Because that covers out this area. Lung. Got Cleona, and I'm not sure what I can. Next. And Luxembourg has been invaded. And lasted all of a couple of hours. I'm not sure how much of a fight they did put up in real life, and to be honest, I wouldn't blame them if they had folded. Ah, still waiting for all that anti air.
That may not have been a good idea. this coming. Do I want to go with one of these? I'm going to get an artillery company because artillery in a battle probably the probably the most lethal for, form of warfare in the Napoleonic era at least. Well this didn't go well. Be more thematic if I go with the intervention folk. Mention them with some focus and then join. And there go and there goes the Scandinavians. The Cleona and Ave? Where I need to fix that. Fine, I'll go with Kaleona and Maeve. The V. So, still, basic fire control system. That was something in the electronics range. Not what I was expecting, but there you have it. All right, you are now wasted there. I'm going to put you in the Pas de Calais, put up a network. Some defense, just, I should have done this earlier now I think about it. Set up for the next round, then probably pause for a minute. More economy. This the next next auto save I will end. Ah. Double. Right. So I'll see you in the next one. See you around.